there. We have to cross now to Bristol. A, ple a police press conference on the stabbing of the two teens at the weekend. It's progressing at pace. We have now made a total of four arrests, having detained a 20-year-old man at around 10 a.m. this morning and a 22-year-old man at around 2 p.m. Both men have been arrested on suspicion of murder and are currently in custody, where they will soon be questioned by detectives from the major crime investigation team. The 44-year-old man and the 15-year-old boy arrested on Saturday also remain in police custody. The team investigating this awful incident are working around the clock to identify those involved and develop a full understanding of what happened. I fully expect that we'll be making more arrests in due course. One of the boys who sadly died has been confirmed as 15-year-old Mason Rist. And while the formal identification process has not yet been completed for the other, we believe him to be 16-year-old Max Dixon. These were two young men who had their whole lives in front of them, and our thoughts are with their families at this extremely difficult time. We have specialist officers in place providing them with support and keeping the family informed of developments. I know that the families are grateful for the outpouring of love and support that people have shown to them, but I would ask that their privacy is respected and they are given time to grieve. The people of Knoll West have, following this tragic incident, demonstrated what it means to be part of a community, and I'd like to thank them for their support and patience whilst we have carried out inquiries and while we investigate what happened. There will continue to be a visible police presence in the area for the coming days, and I encourage anyone with questions or who has information which could help our inquiry to approach an officer. This is a traumatic incident, and I'd also encourage people to look after themselves. We are working closely with the local authority and schools in the area to ensure there is support available for those who need it. I'll now take any questions. Are you any closer to working out why this happened? The investigation's ongoing, considering all, all, all uh, potential reasons behind this. So that progress is being made, but I'm not in a position to share that with you at this time. Do you think the victims were known to the suspects, or could this have been a case of mistaken identity? Again, that's something that we're continuing to investigate to understand any links that do exist, uh, and I can't give you more information at this time. Any weapon recovered? Uh, not to my knowledge at this time. Is there a gang war going on in this area? No, I, I, I wouldn't say that. Um, Bristol is a large city, um, and... It's described by many as a, a city made up of many villages. So there are people who have pride in the neighbourhoods that they come from, and that's part of their identity. But I don't believe that this is uh, rooted in, in, a, in a gang war, as you say, no. What work is being done to make sure there aren't... ..to maintain the to make sure there aren't sort of follow-on repercussions? OK, so there's a, a great deal that's going on. Um, increased patrols in the areas that you will have seen, lots of work being done in schools, have been in contact with, with head teachers and, and the education authorities across the city today. Uh, communication is going into those schools to make sure we're keeping them fully informed of what's happening and provide messages of reassurance and work with the local authority, with community groups to understand people's concerns and respond to those concerns. That's work that will be delivered in the short term whilst we look to, uh, to identify and mitigate any, any risks that, that exist currently. But in the, in the longer term, this is where we need to pick up the work around addressing the underlying causes of, of knife crime. Well, what Max would you say Mason to children who now say they're scared to walk on their streets? I understand the impact that this incident has caused for people. Um, I'm a dad myself, so it, it makes me reflect on, on, on the safety of my children. But you've also seen the strength of community that exists in this part of the city and throughout the city. That, that strength is what we need to get us through this and to, 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 to identify where there is risk and deal with those risks. What is your message to those parents on this road whose children are not going to school today because they feel worried? I, I, would, I would ask them to, to get their kids to school. That would be my, 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 my advice. I think that's a safe place for them to be. It's really important, that stability that education provides in, in their lives. But we understand their concerns. That's why we have officers out on the street. We'll maintain those patrols. That's why we'll work with community representatives and community leaders and the local authority to hear people's concerns and respond to them. Were Max and Mason the intended target of this attack? That's all still subject to the ongoing investigation to find out what, what, what 
possible motives could sit behind such an appalling crime. Are you able to say if the suspects knew the victims or vice versa? I'm able, unable to confirm that because that's still under investigation at this time. Uh, Mark, I can ask a question. There's been some suggestion that this attack was warned about in advance of a video posted online. Can you comment on that at all? Are you I, aware of anything? I can't comment. I'm not personally aware of that, but there's all sorts of work. We've got. Um, over 100 officers that are committed to this investigation. We've got officers from neighbouring forces that are supporting us, such as our commitment to investigate this thoroughly. We'll be looking at social media posts, we'll be looking at community intelligence and every, every, every other source of information for us to progress the inquiry. OK, thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. OK, and that was a superintendent giving a statement in Bristol of the tragic stabbings of Max Dixon, 16-year-old, and... Um, and Mason Riss, 15, they were stabbed on Saturday night about 11.20 p.m. The update, the latest line, two more men arrested on suspicion of murder, a man aged 20 and a man aged 22, in addition to the two men already in custody, um, a 44-year-old and a 15-year-old, so four men now in custody regarding that murder. Um, two young men with their lives in front of them, the superintendent said. Families are grateful for the outpouring of love um, or for this traumatic incident. And he spoke there of over 100 officers from Bristol and other forces coming into the area, saying this is a serious police investigation now. As for why this happened, he didn't have the answer or wouldn't give them at this point. Um, one of the reporters asked him, is this gang warfare? He said, I don't think it is that. Um, but the details are coming out. Two more men arrested. You can see a huge, a large gathering there of the community. This is the vigil. Four men now in custody, two, a 20-year-old, a 22-year-old, added to the 44 and the 15-year-olds already in custody. Two young men with their lives in front of them, Max Dixon, 16, and Mason Wrist, 15.